honestly, not a lot of people get to do this. Like, there's a lot of riders, and a lot of riders don't get to do this part. It's a dream come true, that is for sure. It's trying to soak it in. Yeah, yeah, so uh, my name is Mark. I, um, I started, uh, well, motocross has kind of been something I've been doing my whole life since I was about three and a half. And I uh, did that race for many years up until my late teens. And then that's kind of when I realized it's really expensive to do. And I was looking for some sort of career, so I, the military was pretty appealing to me then. So I was, uh, I was 20 years old, um, and I first enlisted in the Air Force and actually ended up becoming a, a military police officer. Uh, I did that for a few years and decided that, hey, I want to do this for a career and I uh, was able to get picked up for a scholarship and went to college and then became an officer and then just by dumb luck was picked up for pilot training and ended up becoming an Air Force pilot. Obviously I, I've been a supercross and motocross fanatic my whole life. It's my passion, you know, I still ride, I do all that and um, I, I just follow it. I follow the sport, um, all the different teams, all the different riders and it's just, you know, like I said, I'm kind of a, kind of a, a moto dork and um, oddly enough, a friend of mine here at club is a uh, Old, mil uh, old military buddy of mine, and we just hooked back up after, gosh, about almost 20 years, and um, come to find out, he actually works at club, and we, we rekindled our, our uh, relationship and uh, just started chatting, and then I got the opportunity to actually go out to club in South Carolina, see the facility, met the team, I met the riders, and uh, as a fan, you know, I felt like I was going to a Taylor Swift concert. I was just completely blown away just by the hospitality. You know, it was an honor to serve my country. It's, uh, you know, we're humble people, so it kind of feels awkward when people come up to us and talk about that stuff. But deep down, you know, it was, it was really cool just to serve the country, but then to see the appreciation that the moto community has brought to us. You know, I love looking at the bikes, seeing all the graphic kits, all the custom gear, and it's just really cool that they amp that up, and it really is appreciated by the community. What's on your agenda today? Hanging around, chit-chatting with people, some track walk. Brand ambassador. Brand ambassador for the Lawrence camp. <laughs> today anyway, something different. I enjoy coming to the races still and just watching. Yeah. Know. Have a beer in the stands, relax. You, know? you can actually watch a race? Actually watch a race. Not on Peacock here at the semi, so it'd be good. Yeah. Have to walk back and forth. I actually, I really enjoy that, so get a couple 24 ounces and kick back and relax. Consistency, yeah. And don't follow behind anybody like you did yesterday. You don't need to. You're awesome. Have fun. Have fun yesterday. We so is there like a specific pre-race pep talk you give them? No. There's nothing well, that you, were, you Detroit, always say? Detroit, I pretty much told him to get his together because it was bad. He's all in his head and everything, but I think no one was really comfortable with the track last weekend. It seemed like he really gelled with the track more this weekend, so I'm super excited. He's, after like the fourth place finish, he's way more confident and everyone's here for him and he just wants to make everybody proud. So. We're excited. You guys have a lot of family here this week? Actually, yeah. My entire family's here, minus my aunt and uncle. His entire family's here, minus his sister. So he's actually going to be in opening ceremonies for the first time ever in his life. So he's like living his little kid dream. So no one was going to miss it. So. so it's safe to say that after this race, he could retire and be happy. Absolutely not. Do you know him? <laughs> Do you know him? No, no. He is nowhere near done. He loves it. He loves it. So it's only the beginning.
Brad told me that he brought you this really nice FXR polo. Yes, he did. I wore, was going to wear it yesterday, but I'm like, ah, Lululemon's in a polo. Then I looked like a frat boy. I should go play golf, but I'm like, ah, it's not really a golf event, so. I was going to wear it today, but then I'm like, then I'm not representing the team. So, damned if I do, damned if I don't. My whole point behind saying that is I told him that I wanted that polo, and he said, ah. well, it's specifically for Phil. F you, dude. Mother ah, listen, I look better in it, you know? <laughs> It's like, I'm trying to not get nervous because the heat race is coming up, but like, just be in the moment for like open ceremonies because honestly, not a lot of people get to do this. Like, there's a lot of riders, and a lot of riders don't get to do this part. It's a dream come true, that is for sure. Shocker is um, definitely fast. There's no doubt about it. Um, and I think uh, him coming here has now elevated his game. I think kind of you get more attention and stuff like that because I think where he was at in the past, it was just too sporadic and too many moving pieces. And here it's a lot more, a lot more legit. Um, so I think for him, it'll help elevate his game. And um, I want him to stay healthy through Supercross as well because he does have his moments. And I have to remind him as well, like, hey, man, uh, for instance, the day yesterday, you had a little sketchy moment in the whoops doing some testing at the end of the day. And it's just like, hey, we don't need to be doing that. You know what I mean? You don't have to go full send right away. Or when we're doing gate drops, just use your brain, use your smarts. I know none of us, we don't really have a high IQ, all of us put together. So um, just be smarter and make it to race day. So try and keep them somewhat calm. but. The talent's there. So I think um, just looking at the heat races and stuff, the outside after the whoops. Mm -hmm. So oh, go over the wall outside. Yeah. Three one. It's consistent. Yeah. You can do it every lap. That's yeah. It keeps you in a flow. Yeah, that's the biggest thing right now. Your whoops are really good at first. It's almost like you lost a little bit of confidence in them, but yeah, I I, I don't think you realize I don't think much. you realize how good you were getting through them. Yeah. So I was overthinking it too much. Yeah, yeah. I just need to stick so, to just yeah. hitting my mark. Yeah, inside on the same. Unless yeah. something changes. They're not coming to play, they're coming to win, and everybody wants results. It's when that gate drops, all those guys are gonna hammer and none of us wanna lose.
right, dude? Right? Consistent lap times. Yeah. That was awesome. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Dude, that track was so hard for me. <laughs> it was gnarly. It was literally like top track I could I was just telling <laughs> these guys, like, I was like, I hate that place. I hate that I place. I hate it. I, hate, I love it. I love it. <laughs> the time of my life. The time of my yeah. life. I promise. But I figured if I just literally did my own laps, yeah. it would all fall out. Where um, you finished this week was still better than the placement you got last week. And this track was literally like the top track at club. Yeah. And Thorn in your side. I disciplined myself on saying, I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> I uh, love this loose dirt. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I swear. There's no better feeling than having an overall I qualified great for myself. 12th. Six in the heat and an eighth in the main. To me, for me, that's great. And <coughs> I rebounded in Arlington because this is where I blew out my knee two years ago. I've never finished inside. My best moto finish here was a 12th. And that was 250 West Coast in 21. So. I rebounded, I guess you would say. I made this place a... Uh, I'll remember this place in a positive manner now. And not a place that has taken me out in the past, so... It's cool. But now we uh, get press day for Daytona. And we get to throw some fat whips on a speedway.